Once again, we're going to continue with uh, surface area. Uh, this video will be broken up into two sections. 12.3a will be surface areas of pyramids, and 12.3b will be surface area of cones. Okay. All right. So once again, we're going to find lateral and surface area. Here is a pyramid. We have uh, the main things you guys need to know here that's different is you need to know slant height and altitude. Those are two different things. The slant height is on the face of that triangle, and the altitude is inside the pyramid there. Uh, both of them form right angles. Um, everything else you guys know from the past uh, in geometry. So lateral area is different for a pyramid. It's one half the perimeter times the slant height. Let me highlight that there. Okay, we're just finding the perimeter of that square, or that rectangle, most likely a square. And then that slant height, multiply it out and find your answer. And then um, to find the surface area, then we add the area of the base which is pretty easy to find. The biggest challenge of this is going to be finding the slant height. Okay, so um, example one, lateral area equals one half times perimeter. What's the perimeter? Well, that was a bad circle. It's four and each side is four because it's a square because it's a regular pyramid. Four times four is 16. Let me, let me just write out the formula, okay? One half times 16, because I did four plus four plus four plus four, or four times four, times the slant height, six. If I multiply those out, I get 48 square inches. Plus, I'm gonna add the area of the base, which is 16, because I did four times four, and that will equal Sorry, I'm going sideways, 64 square inches. That's the basic problem right there. Okay, what we're gonna see here, I'm gonna erase, is this next one takes it up to the next level and we need to find the slant height. How do we find the slant height? Because I need that to solve. So what we need to do is we need to draw our triangle 12, 16 and L. And you guessed it, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. 12 squared plus 16 squared equals L squared. Okay. And if um and if you guys uh use your perfect squares and solve this, I'm not going to show you how to do Pythagorean. We've been doing it all year. L is going to equal 20, okay, because it's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So L equals 20, and I'm going to plug it in, at that L into the equation that we just did before. Um, perimeter of this base is 12 times 4, which is 48. The capital B, or area of the base, is 12 times 12, which is 144. Make sure you have all those numbers. If I have this, this, and this, I plug it into my equation and solve. Okay, same thing down here. Okay, I am not going to solve the one on the left. I'm going to work on this one on the right. It's a little more challenging. We have the altitude. Okay is 12. I need to know the slant height. I have this line here. Okay. And actually, if all of these sides are 14, we know that that line I just drew is going to be half. So that line is going to be 7. So now you can see my right triangle here. I have 7. I have 12, and I have my slant height. 
So Pythagorean theorem, 7 squared plus 12 squared equals L squared. We'll solve for L. We should know that the perimeter is 14 times 4, which is 56. The area of the base is 14 times 14. Forgive me for typing this in my calculator. I should have this memorized. 196. So I have my three numbers here. Whatever I find for L after doing Pythagorean, I'm saving some time by not solving it. Um, you will find your answer. So in review, to find slant height, we have to draw our triangle, and we have to do Pythagorean theorem to find the slant height. Okay, coming down here, I kind of referenced this on the last presentation. Okay, so first of all, pretty easy here. This has six sides. So the perimeter is 8 times 6, 48. Okay, because that's a hexagon. Perimeter is 48. Slant height, easy. They give it to me, 20. Now the area of the base, the challenge part, is going to be 1 half apothem times perimeter. So in review, to find the apothem, we have to do a bunch of things. Okay, I am going to draw, um, we're going to forget about this one, and I'm just going to do the one on the left. So I'm going to draw my hexagon here. Central angle, triangle. Okay, I'm trying to find this blue line here. Okay, that's the line I'm trying to find. So, this, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to pull out this triangle down here. And I'm going to bring it up here. Okay. Here's the triangle I drew down below. Here's my apothem. Okay. This is 4. Why? 8 divided by 2 is 4. I don't know any other number. I do know the angle. The central angle, 360 divided by 6, is 60. Then I take 60 divided by 2, and I get 30. Hexagons are nice. Why? Because they are 45, 40, or sorry, 30, 60, 90. So I know my apothem now is going to be 4 root 3. How did I know that? I used my formula from 30, 60, 90. Apothem is the long side, 4 is the short side. Um, now I can plug it in. So I'm going to have 1 half times 4 root 3 times the perimeter, which I already found is 48. That's the area of the base. Then I'm going to add it to 1 half perimeter times slant height, which is 20. I'm going to stop. Sorry. I must have hit an arrow down there. Okay. That was a quick way to do it. I would rewind a number of times if you need help. Uh, remembering how to do that. Okay, now we're going to move to section 12b. And in section 12b, surface area of cones. Okay, once again, we have slant height as L, we have radius, we have one base, and we have a height, altitude. When we are solving cones, I'm going to make sure I have the formulas here. Okay, the lateral area is pi r l. So we'll go back up here. 
lateral area is pi r l and then the surface area is pi r l plus pi r squared since we only have one circle okay I forgot to put the numbers in for this so we're gonna move on here um, same thing here um, finding the lateral area the numbers kinda got erased we'll use these down here okay so I'm gonna label my picture actually L is 2.2 R is 0.8, the surface area is pi times 0.8 times 2.2 plus pi times 0.8 squared. What I would do is solve each of these separately. So 2.2 times 0.8 times pi equals 5.2. 5 plus I have 0.8 squared and that will come out to approximately 2 and that will be approximately 7.5 for the surface area. Okay, um, once again if we want to try to find this other one I'm going to erase what you'll notice in this picture as we don't have we don't have slant height we just have the altitude so once again I'm going to pull out my triangle and I'm going to have 6 7 and L I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem to find L and then I'm going to plug it in my equations once again All right, um, same thing here. Both of these to find L, we don't know them. We don't know L. Use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Here's a nice little chart if you want to take a screenshot. Um, we haven't done sphere yet, so don't look at that. But uh, Lateral area and surface area here. Um, all the equations that you need right here in this chart. You can take a picture of it. The only other shape we haven't done yet is the sphere. And that's it for 12.3b.